Salioko's tumultuous journey into motherhood began at the tender age of 11, a circumstance that would shock her community and defy societal norms. Born into a troubled household, Sally, one of five children to her mother Miranda Bosby, faced challenges that far surpassed the innocence of childhood. Miranda's battle with addiction cast a dark shadow over their home, leaving her children to navigate the tumultuous waters of life largely on their own. The burden of responsibility fell heavily on the shoulders of Sally and her siblings, with older ones often assuming the role of caretakers in the absence of parental guidance. Amidst the chaos of their upbringing, Sally found solace in the unwavering support of her older brother, Jaden. Despite his own struggles and entanglements with a local gang, Jaden remained a steadfast presence in Sally's life, providing much-needed stability and support. When Miranda's addiction consumed her, the family home became a battleground of neglect and deprivation with basic necessities such as food, electricity, and water-scarce commodities. Sally learned early on the harsh realities of fending for herself in an unforgiving world. Despite her tumultuous home life, Sally attempted to navigate the corridors of education, attending the local public school. However, the demands of schoolwork and the chaotic environment at home proved insurmountable, leading Sally to drop out at the tender age of nine. Left to her own devices, Sally found solace. In her cherished possession, a light blue teddy bear named Blue Boy. While material comforts were scarce, Blue Boy provided a source of comfort and companionship amidst the chaos of their home. As the years passed, Sally's world was rocked by the disappearance of her beloved brother, Jaden, whose involvement with a local gang thrust him into a dangerous world beyond their home's confines. With Jaden's absence weighing heavily on their hearts, Sally and her younger sister, Stacy, found themselves navigating the trials and tribulations of adolescence alone, yet amidst the turmoil, Sally's resilience shone through, a beacon of hope in the darkness of their circumstances, despite the odds stacked against her, Sally's unwavering determination and inner strength served as a testament to the indomitable human spirit, a force capable of overcoming even the most daunting of challenges, Sally's heart sank as she mustered the courage to approach her mother's room, her small voice trembling with uncertainty, mommy, do you know where Jaden is? She asked tentatively, hoping against hope for a reassuring answer. Miranda's response was as cold as the winter wind, devoid of any warmth or solace. No, Sally, how would I know where your brother is? With a heavy heart and empty stomachs, Sally and Stacy retreated to bed that night, the gnawing ache of hunger mingling with the ache of uncertainty. The following afternoon brought a grim revelation as police officers descended upon their doorstep their solemn expressions foreboding, something terrible had happened, something that would irrevocably alter the course of Sally's young life. Jaden wasn't coming home, he had become another casualty in the senseless violence that plagued their community. The news of Jaden's tragic demise shattered Miranda's fragile facade, her tears a poignant testament to the depth of her grief, for Sally and Stacy. It was a jarring realization of the fragility of life and the harsh realities of their existence. They had never seen their mother cry before, and the sight filled them with a sense of foreboding as the truth unfolded. The glaring neglect and deprivation within their home could no longer be ignored. A CPS investigation was initiated, prompting a visit from a social worker whose discerning gaze laid bare the stark reality of their living conditions. The sight of an empty fridge, save for a moldy apple and some milk, and the absence of basic amenities like a proper bed frame painted a grim picture of their circumstances. In the wake of such revelations, Sally and Stacy found themselves caught in the crosshairs of a broken system, their fate now at the mercy of bureaucratic decisions. The prospect of being separated from their mother filled them with dread, their pleas falling on deaf ears as they grappled with the uncertain future that lay ahead. The tumultuous environment of Sally's foster home was a far cry from the stability and security she craved, without. Jaden's protective presence, Sally found herself adrift in a sea of uncertainty, her sense of isolation compounded by Stacy's adoption by a young couple. The sisters, once inseparable, were now torn apart, their familial bonds severed by circumstances beyond their control. Sally's tenth birthday passed unnoticed, a somber reminder of the fractured fragments of her life. As the days wore on, a pervasive sense of loneliness settled over her, like a dark cloud obscuring any glimmer of hope, though. 
she was fed and bathed. The warmth of familial love remained elusive, replaced by the cold indifference of her foster home. Amidst the chaos of her new reality, school became Sally's sanctuary, a refuge from the turmoil that raged within her foster home. The solace she found in books offered her a fleeting escape, transporting her to worlds far removed from her own, yet, even the sanctuary of school could not shield Sally from the harsh realities of her foster home, an unjust accusation of Vandalism unleashed a torrent of cruelty from her foster mother, shattering Sally's fragile sense of security. The sting of betrayal cut deep as Sally bore the brunt of her foster mother's anger, her innocence sacrificed at the altar of baseless accusations, alone and broken, Sally retreated to her room, the weight of her despair crushing her spirit. It was in the suffocating silence of the night that resolve stirred within her, a flicker of defiance against the injustice that engulfed her, with trembling hands and a heart heavy with determination, Sally concocted a daring plan of escape, fueled by the unwavering belief that no one had the right to subject her to such cruelty. As dawn broke, Sally's resolve hardened, her small frame propelled by a fierce determination to break free from the chains that bound her. With nothing but a pillowcase containing a few cherished belongings, she slipped through the window of her room, leaving behind the suffocating confines of her foster home in search of a freedom she had long yearned for. The following week brought unimaginable hardships for Sally, the sort of experiences that are too distressing to delve into in detail. Unbeknownst to her at the time, these events led to her becoming pregnant at the tender age of just 10 years old. It was during this turbulent period that Sally encountered a beacon of hope in the form of Olga. As Sally dashed through an alleyway, Olga, an elderly woman with a pronounced foreign accent, called out to her, asking, what are you doing, little one? Where are you headed? Sally, feeling an inexplicable pull, halted in her tracks and retraced her steps back to Olga. Initially, Olga insisted that Sally should be returned to her foster home. This was after Olga had inquired about Sally's family, to which Sally had heartbreakingly replied, I don't have a family anymore. As Sally shared the harrowing details of her childhood and the subsequent time spent in the foster system, Olga's resolve softened. Eventually, she simply hushed the young girl, enveloping her in a warm embrace, a gesture of comfort Sally realized she hadn't experienced in what felt like an eternity. Choosing to act on her compassion, Olga took it upon herself to care for Sally, offering her a sanctuary and a semblance of familial warmth. It was then that Sally learned of Olga's backstory, originally from Czechoslovakia. Olga had faced her own set of challenges, which eventually led her to a life on the streets, despite her circumstances, Olga had built a small network of support, including local grocers who provided her with food supplies weekly. With this assistance, Olga ensured that Sally received proper nourishment. Fortuitously, Olga had been a teacher in her earlier years, a skill set she now utilized to educate Sally. She dedicated her afternoons to teaching Sally not only how to read and write but also imparting knowledge in history and mathematics. In Olga, Sally found not just a guardian but a maternal figure who offered her more love, guidance, and support than she had ever received from Miranda, her foster mother. Through Olga's kindness and unwavering support, Sally was given a chance to experience a nurturing environment, something she had been desperately missing. Despite the less-than-ideal circumstances surrounding her, Sally found solace in the love she received which became her entire universe. Up until a particular moment, Sally had not shared her secret with Olga, the woman who had become her confidant and protector. However, as Sally's physical appearance began to change, specifically her visibly growing abdomen, Olga's concern prompted her to ask the young girl what was happening. When Sally finally disclosed her situation, Olga was confronted with a reality she had never imagined. Sally, and only 10 years old, was expecting a child. The shock of this revelation left Olga in disbelief. Compelled by the circumstances, Olga had to undertake the delicate task of explaining to Sally the intricacies of pregnancy and childbirth, topics far beyond what a child of Sally's age should have to comprehend. By this time, Sally was approximately six months into her pregnancy. Putting Olga in a challenging and complex situation, Olga was acutely aware that seeking medical attention for Sally would likely result in the authorities taking the child into protective custody. While Olga was under no illusion about the permanence of Sally's stay with her, she was also deeply concerned about Sally's well-being and 
Happiness, Olga feared that if Sally were placed in a foster home or similar institution, the girl's independent spirit might lead her to flee, searching for another place where she felt loved and safe. This fear underscored the difficult decisions Olga faced, highlighting the complexity of their situation and the profound bond that had formed between them. Despite the challenging circumstances, over the subsequent weeks, Olga dedicated herself to preparing Sally for the challenges that lay ahead. The reality was inescapable, Sally would need to give birth at the hospital. Despite this looming future, the two cherished the remaining time they had together, celebrating milestones such as birthdays. When the moment arrived for Sally to deliver her child, Olga rushed her to the state hospital, where the revelation of Sally's age left the healthcare staff in disbelief. At just 11 years old, Sally was on the verge of motherhood, a situation unprecedented in the hospital's history. Child. Protective Services CPS, was promptly notified, while Olga remained in the waiting area, confident in her innocence and the knowledge that her support had been vital to Sally's survival, the birth process led to an astonishing discovery, Sally was expecting twins, despite her youth, Sally was adamant about keeping her babies, fearful of being separated from them and placed into foster care, then, in an unexpected turn of events, the adoptive parents of Stacy, Sally's sister, appeared, it was revealed that the couple had adopted Stacy, unaware that she had a sister. They had initially thought Stacy's mentions of Sally were imaginary until they realized Sally had been left behind. After discovering Sally had fled her foster home, they had lost hope of reuniting the siblings until they received a call about Sally's location. The revelation that adopting Sally also meant welcoming her newborn twins, Jazz and Matthew, into their family was met with astonishment but increased their joy. The family expanded from one child to four, embracing the challenge with open arms. The story takes an even more heartwarming turn when the adoptive parents learn about Olga's selflessness towards Sally. In gratitude, they offered Olga a small apartment adjacent to their home, recognizing the invaluable support she could provide with the children. This tale of unexpected twists, compassion, and the creation of a new, larger family highlights the power of kindness and the beauty of second chances culminating in a profoundly happy ending for all involved. That's all about our story. If you like this story, please like and subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next story.